Four down territory, new fun little segment where we pop around the league, and it could do a little college football as the year goes on, because week zero is coming up here. Uh, Spadoni, hit me with some music. Let's roll. First down. <laughs> I'm going to ask a question, Blonte. You answer it. The people in the audience, feel free to text in. Right. Hit us up on the YouTube chat. What is it? What down is it? First down. <laughs> is this the final year of Bill Belichick? I mean, think about it for a second. He is the GM. He is the team president. He's the head coach. He hand-selected Mac Jones. Is this it? You were on this last year. That was your bold take that Belichick was going to retire. I don't think it's his last year. Tom I think Brady Belichick is getting is a lifer. I'll let you finish. Tom Brady is getting inducted into the Patriot mm -hmm. Hall of Fame week one. Yep. Week one. You got to wait till at least like week four or five or like, I don't know, toward the end of the year against a team that you actually can win. Week one, you're inducting him. Are they going to make Tom Brady the John Elway of the Patriots and just hand him the keys where he creates his own title? Just something to think about. Is this the end of Bill Belichick? Yeah, I think he has one more year, but I like it. I like that first down. Let's you, go to second you, down. All right, second down. Second down. This is the year of the quarterback. I've got two tiers of quarterbacks that I'm looking at, okay? Who's good? C.J. Stroud, Bryce, Malik Willis, Jordan Love, Brock Purdy, Fields, Mac Jones, Richardson, Kenny Pickett, the young guys. Who of those young guys is legitimately good? And then I go to the second tier, the older quarterbacks. Maybe we've doubted them. They've shown a little. Are they any good? Yeah. Geno, Russ, Stafford, Kyler, Goff, Tua, Daniel Jones, Dak, Derek Carr, Jimmy G, Deshaun Watson. I don't know. It's the year of the quarterback. It has been the year of the quarterback. It's been a year of the quarterback. What other quarterback? Well, I guess the big second down question for me is when you talk about quarterbacks, what is Mahomes going to do oh, this year? I, I pump the brakes. I've got well, that for my well, fourth. Well, oh, okay. All right. All right. There's, that's, so that's where my setting went. But Kitty Pickett, I am eager to see what he does with Pittsburgh. They're hyping him up. He looks composed. He played college football there. George Pickens is a hell of a weapon to have. <laughs> yeah. Deontay Johnson's a hell of a weapon to I have. Know. You got Najee Harris in the backfield. Big year for Kitty Pickett. In the AFC North. Pittsburgh getting a little too hyped up to me, by the way. Pittsburgh Ooh. getting a little too much love recently. Like they the last couple of weeks. Game? You know they haven't won a playoff game since 2016? Yeah. I mean, Did they win every that? year. That's yeah. a credit to Mike Tomlin. They like they have a winning record usually, but like Kenny Pickett, Lamar Jackson, Actually, Joe look, Burrow. Here's what I'd say. Deshaun Watson. Yeah. They just need competent quarterback play. Like yeah. that's I, a tough I, spot. They gotta have the worst quarterback in the division. That is crazy. Deshaun was pretty bad last year. Yeah, but Deshaun, you I don't know what to make of Deshaun. That's why we'll I got see. him in tier two. All right. Like, I don't know what we'll to see. make of him. Who's of those two tiers? What's the quarterback that you're most interested in seeing? Jordan Love? Russ? I am excited to see Jordan Love because I think the Packers aren't getting enough hype. Okay. I think the Packers are going to be pretty good this year. I, I don't know why. I, and when I say pretty good, can they be 10 and 7? Can they be 9 and 8? If they can go they 10 be, and 7 with him, that's, a, that's an accomplishment. 11 and 6? I think Jordan Love could be really, really good. Okay. I would say, you know, because I already know how some people are going to take this, but Deshaun Watson in Cleveland, I do want to see what he does. Okay. And I'm talking about the quarterback, yeah. the person. It's I don't even like saying that out loud, no, I but I am intrigued to see what the Cleveland Browns do this I am too. I don't know what to make of Deshaun. Yeah. So let's go to number three. Third down. Old faces, new places. Who's got the most to win or lose? Aaron Rodgers in New York? Jimmy G in Las Vegas? Derek Carr in New Orleans? Uh, it's Aaron Rodgers. Biggest media market. New York Jets. Hard knocks. You're supposedly the missing piece to a team that was 7-4 last year. Uh, Garrett Wilson's your wide receiver. You got Lazard. You brought in Cobb. You got great, You got good running backs uh, in the backfield. Bre uh, Brees Hall. Davin Cook. Uh, you got Carter. another kid from uh, North Carolina, Michael, Michael Carter. Yeah, I like him. So you got some dudes, and you got a great defense. A great defense. It's Aaron Rodgers. By far, huh? By far. Do, do you think his legacy, like if he fails, is his legacy tarnished? Or do you think it's pretty cemented? This hey, is a cemented. legacy game. <laughs> he submitted. But I got to say, week one on 9-11, Monday Night Football, Bro. Jets, Bills, at MetLife Stadium, the emotions... Oh, my Lord. Right out of the shoot, Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers. Hey, I think the Bills, quietly, I'm I'm selling Bill stock. Mm. And I love Josh Allen. Mm. I feel like I need to – everyone's zagging. I got to zig. All right, last one. Last one. Fourth down. 
We said this last year. I'm going to say this again. Are we watching the greatest quarterback in real time of all time? Might be. Patrick Mahomes. Might what be. the hell? Like, think about this. Oh, boy. This guy, he wakes up at the beginning of every year, and he's in the AFC Championship game. <laughs> every year. <laughs> Bonte, if he wins back-to-back, his third? He's a competitor. Where do you got him? Like, on the real, if he wins another Super Bowl, and he has another. Top five. He's already. Top five. He's not even 30. Listen to what we're saying. I feel like I'm watching Magic Johnson, LeBron James, Steph Curry of his sport in real time. And I top five. I just want to appreciate him. Easy. Top five, easy. I mean, it was a Monday night game against the Ravens during the pandemic season. And I thought I was watching the greatest looking quarterback. <laughs> Some of the balls right. he was throwing. And then what he did did last year against the Eagles in the Super Bowl, what he did against the Niners at Levi Stadium. Patrick Mahomes is that dude. All right, we got to move. I like that, though. Four downs, four downs every single Wednesday here on the Morning Roast.